On Tuesday, Dr. Job Amupanda presented to the public a strategy with a different color, but with similar characteristics of the delayed financial institutions and Markets Act FEMA. According to him, the changes will delay payments to beneficiaries such as children. This benchmark retirement fund found a strategy and they went to Namfisa. As we speak, Namfisa have approved to change this model, the, the one that I was explaining. Now, if you die at 66, your money no longer go to your wife or to your child, but it goes to your estate. Okay? It goes to your estate. So, meaning that it goes to your estate, and if your estate has debt, it has whatever, as we demonstrate now, that's what's going to happen. So, your children are not going to benefit. And as we know in Namibia, some estates, a person spent, you spend about five years just waiting for the estate to be resolved. The presentation on social media, which stretches over eight minutes, alleges that the change in the pension fund payouts, if affected, would be worse than what FEMA currently proposes. The FEMA strategy proposed that anyone who resigns or becomes unemployed will only have access to 25% of their pension and preserve 75% until they reach the legal age of retirement, which is 60. But it was not long after the current video was released by Amupanda that Benchmark Retirement Fund released a strongly worded counter-statement labeling Dr. Amupanda as ignorant. The Managing Director of Retirement Fund Administrators, an umbrella body under which Benchmark Retirement Fund resorts, hit back dismissing Amupanda's claims. Martinez Fabianus lamented that the activist is spreading misinformation, propaganda, malicious and intentional misguided statements aimed at tarnishing the name of Benchmark Retirement Fund. He also stated that Amupanda is on a mission to spread fear and doubt in the minds of his followers about Benchmark Retirement Fund and about its role in the Namibian pension fund industry as a whole. The AR activist was, however, unfazed and hit back with what appears to be an undisputed evidence that solidifies his claims. It is all contained in a letter dated 28 February 2023, which talks about the amendment of Rule 6, which was approved by Namfisa recently. In it, the fund confirms that a pensioner can no longer designate a survivor to whom the remaining funds can be allocated to under the new rules and should it be authentic if a beneficiary annuity pensioner dies their pension payment will stop the fund will then disinvest any remaining capital held for the beneficiary annuity pensioner and pay the remaining capital to their estate in a lump sum in full and final settlement of the fund's liability towards them, subject to any provisions of the Income Tax Act. The NBC attempted to get in contact with the managing director of the Retirement Fund Administrators, Martinez Fabianus, but was informed that he is in a meeting. Spokesperson of NAMFISA, Victoria Muranda, had promised to revert to questions sent by the NBC on Tuesday, but has so far not responded. Emil Khamro Seibeb, NBC News, Ventuk.